Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending February the 4th, 2022. Wow, the markets are showing risk everywhere that we look. Okay, so we've got inflation that's still driving the thing. We, uh, you know, in terms of labor prices, in terms of its deepening and other, other areas because of supply chain problems that are trying to straighten themselves out but are not still yet done that. Uh, read below uh, in our quote of the week and, and check out that article as, as to uh, the uh, in, uh, per pervasiveness of inflation as we go through and that we're trying to get out. And a large piece of that is the labor market. We had very good numbers this week to report people going back to work. But the problem is, is that the companies are having to look at this. This is a labor market now. And so the increased labor costs are going to bake in some of that inflation and you can only raise prices so much could back off and this came right out of the Facebook or as it's known now Meta report this week when they missed earnings so bad and their explanation is to guidance on why and that really put a damper on the market that put a damper on the market had a nice bull rally trying to go you gotta watch these bull mar rallies in a bear market okay if we broke back through technically they broke us out of the bear market for a minute alright and then and then um, we got that news and that big miss by uh, by Facebook or Meta, uh, missing earnings, and then with that with that explanation why the guidance uh, why going forward uh, really put a damper on everything compounded with very good employment numbers now in terms of people going back to work, but the bad news was uh, is that if the Fed interprets that as a as a stronger economy. Uh, and, and it's a healing economy, then they go ahead and continue to be hawkish because they don't want inflation to have any fuel to the fire. So they go ahead with those rate cuts. That, of course, is good. it puts a damper on equities all around the board. So right now we're looking at there's still range on the, on the, on the NASDAQ. If it breaks below 13,000, head for the hills. 14.5, uh, it's just banging its head on resistance. We've got uh, just like the S&P. Uh, 45.55, we can break through that. Maybe we got a rally. Otherwise, if it falls through 42.50, look out below. And then the Russell 1000 around 241 on the basement side of that deal. Here's the problem is, is that we've got really bearish uh, inclinations going forward. Unless, unless the bulls can really get in there, do a rally that it's going to turn these around. These technicals are about to really cross back over into deeper uh, correction trouble and then and then remain back into that bull market which could run uh, for a bit okay as uh, as 2022 wears on now the best sectors that you've had for the past month obviously energy all right that's up 16.7 percent but the uh, uh, financials were the next uh, best one but they're slightly in the red now staples consumer staples were the next uh, best sector they're down and then utilities down even more so uh, the only non-red sector here was the energy market which coincides with our plan our, our, our picks from a couple of weeks ago we just gave these picks to you guys all right and I hope some of you used them and made some money on it the one was uh, Schlumberger was a great performer at 8.6 percent all right uh, for the two week uh, period so far Schwab we were up four percent on that pick uh, CSX is flattened out. We had a good, nice gain as the week wore on. It's down 0 0.4. It's not down, but it was higher. We finished this week up with that at 0.4% at positive side, 0.4%. Uh, BOK Financials was uh, was a nice run. So far, we're at 3.7 on that. We had a Jettison, JP, uh, uh, JB Hunt Transport. I love the company. love the stock, but uh, when it's got to go, it's got to go. We... Uh, this Tuesday will make two weeks uh, since we jettisoned that position. So if you're following these and tracking these and trading these stocks, hope that you're doing well on that and I uh, hope, hope uh, that those are working out for you nicely, okay? It could be, it could be because, uh, you know, the market caps and everything, the, the fangs, now the mangs, okay, uh, could be, although you've had Amazon spectacular earnings, Google spectacular earnings, uh, Netflix took a beating, uh, Facebook, main, uh, Meta uh, now uh, took, a, took a beating, and the reason why is the, is, the, is the economy. So you have to start looking at this. Those have been our go-to, our go-to for over you know, uh, uh, two years, and, uh, and that dynamic looks to be changing now. They always seem to be a safe haven, not so much. Bitcoin banging its head on resistance again at 40,000, 
But as we've talked to you before, that's, uh, that's tightly correlated with the NASDAQ. It is not a, uh, a hedge. It, too, is a risk asset. Be very careful with Bitcoin in terms of the volatility and for your retirement planning, that type of investment. That is a, um, that's a fun money play. Uh, in my book, always has been since 2015, so when I got in it, and uh, it remains to be that to this day. So, how do you work around through all of this risk? Watch out for those trade, uh, those target date funds. Okay, you got to know what those are comprised of. There's a lot more risk going on in there than you may be aware of. You got to really dig into your prospectus. Okay, the 10-year today, this morning, hit 193, 192, 193. Okay. So the bond components and those target date funds may be cutting against you, may be much more riskier than you realize, and, uh, and you may not have time to catch back up. Here's, here's the other thing to look at this. You've got an equity component that's high risk right now. You've got a bond uh, component that, that's high rate risk right now. So you've got risk, risk, risk on top of risk uh, going through those target date funds. If you're not sure what you have, bring them in. Let us analyze them. That's what we do. We build plans. We help you optimize taxes. We help you mitigate all of these risks. And for your in-service, for those of you who are still working, your in-service uh, uh, employer plans, 401ks, 403bs, that type of thing, plan confidence subscriptions, 25 bucks a month, first business day of every month, uh, we give, or whenever you join, uh, we'll, we'll give you the, um, the uh, information to know how to contribute your new money, how to spread that out going through, and then your already allocated uh, assets that you're already into, uh, how we think that you might reposition those for the month, and that's every 30 days. That for less than a designer, a couple of designer cups of coffee, we're going to save you thousands, we're going to make you tens if not hundreds of thousands uh, over time with that, okay? In the meantime, those of you that are, uh, if you've got rollover 401ks, we've got traditional IRAs from previous employment, go ahead and, con or you may have just pure taxable accounts, go ahead and contact us about alternative investments and ways to mitigate risk in these very volatile markets and in these, uh, what is looking to be, we've got, I'm seeing, I'm seeing verges of crossovers, folks, on all the major indexes. So uh, we could be looking at uh, uh, bear territory um, longer or sooner than not. I don't predict the market, I just trade them, but that's the, what the data is looking like right now. Hopefully, we got some good news for the second half of earnings season. It'll come back up, push us a bull rally, and we'll break out of this funk. But right now, uh, you know, it's nice to know how to trade a bear market when you're in one, okay? We can help you. Give us a call. Reach out to us. Uh, our contact points are all over the place. Go to assetguidancegroup.com. Reach out to me, W. Nichols at assetguidancegroup.com. J.W. Nichols at assetguidancegroup.com. And until next time, you guys stay happy.